Yo, what is up guys? Shellness is back here. I'm back with another unboxing for you. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. But if you already are, welcome back. Now, One Piece has a lot of episodes on it. I believe over a thousand. If you guys are on the current arc, the Wano arc, you're going to know who this character is. We're going to be unboxing Kozuki Odin from Mega House. This is their Portrait of Pirates Warriors Alliance line. And I did a lot of their unboxings before. I love Mega House figures. And this is a nice looking box. This box looks bigger than the last Zoro that I unboxed. But Kozuki Odin in the Wano outfit. Let's go. If you guys wonder where I get a lot of my anime and manga merch, check out the affiliate links in the description below. It's really been helping out the channel financially. I want to thank you guys because I couldn't do this without you. If you guys also want to support, I also have Patreon. You can check out the merch, but let's check out the box. So here's how the front of the box looks like. You can see a cutout that shows Odin inside. Right here you see a picture of the pose that he's going to be in. And I think that pose looks badass, by the way, but you see the P.O.P. Warriors Alliance symbol right there by Mega House. And I love that it has the red kanji symbol right there. It has a shine to it. I don't know if the camera does it any justice, but that looks nice. We also see our sticker of authenticity right there, the One Piece logo, excellent model edition. So I'm really liking how the front looks like. You see the side, see another cutout right there. I love the little kind of three circles right there with different views of Odin. So I really love the artwork on the side of the box right here. And that red color right there looks nice. Here's the back. You see some information here on the back. Another picture of his pose. And Mega House makes some of the nicest boxes that I've seen. And you see this side with a circular cutout right here. So no complaints about the box. Check out the top. Another view of Odin and that color right there is such a nice touch, but we got a cut out. So let's get Odin out of here. So excellent packaging by Mega House like always and Odin surrounded by a prison of plastic right here and this figure got some weight to it. And they also give you this instruction sheet right there. I'm assuming this is how I put on his two swords. So I really like that. And also shout out for Mega House for always giving us some nice artwork inside the box too because I was checking that out while I was opening it and the artwork inside is nice, but let's get Odin out of here. And to give you guys a close-up of the package, you can see two of Odin's swords right here. Like they're both surrounded by plastic, so extra protection. If we also look at the base, they also protect that also. So really protective packaging right here. We have a styrofoam sheet right here and also on the back of Odin's arm right there. Some plastic surrounding his arm. So Mega House doesn't play when it comes to the packaging. So we have a total of four different pieces that come out of the box right here. And I didn't even know that they had a clear stand for this figure. If you look at the instructions, it's actually to hold Odin in place right here. You put it behind his ribbon that he wears behind his back. So that's to keep the figure in balance. When it comes to the figures, I don't mind them having a stand for it. So I don't mind at all, but let's take a look at these swords we have right here. If you guys know, I do love my swords. So if we take a look at this, this one is Enma, by the way. This sword is really OP in the anime. I'm not gonna try and spoil too much of this one, but I really love the paint job, the purple part on the handle, the details on the star, just the designs right here. And you can see the little flame effect on the blade right here, so. Enma is looking nice. If we look at this second samurai sword right here, this sword is OP too. I think the name of this one is called I May Know Habakiri. This one has a weird name to it, but if we look at the paint job on it, it has the green flame effect on the blade right there, and you can see the white paint and it fades to green towards the end. So the details on this man's swords look amazing. We have the Odin figure right here, and this is a big figure by the way. Odin's a really tall character, but if we turn the figure around. All right, so after some experiments, you actually can lift this figure stand higher or lower if you want to. So we're all good with the stand now. Let's get the two swords on. All right, so we got it off and this is a tight grip, by the way. It took me a little bit of strength to get this off, but see if I can do this behind the camera. For this sword right here, it's gonna go on the lower arm. And again, this part can come off. See, this one was a lot more easier to take off, but let's go. All right, so I'm assuming this thing right here is just the placeholder. Yep, this piece is a placeholder right here.
All right, guys, Odin is all put together now, and I just love the pose that this figure is in. Mega House did a phenomenal job on this one here. We have his two swords in his hand, Odin's two sword style, and these two blades right here are two of the 21 great grade swords in the One Piece anime. These things are OP, and not to spoil anything, but these are the only two swords that I've seen from the 1,000 episodes that I watched that damaged a certain Yonko or Emperor in the series. So I'm not gonna spoil anything, guys, but I love the pose that he's in. And this is a tall figure, too. He stands at about 10.82 inches in height. Odin is a really tall character in the series. And what catches my eye the most is the paint job that Mega House did. You can see the orange highlighting in his Wano outfit right here, the shininess to it. It's just beautiful. I just love the smile and determination you can see in his face right there. This is a PVC figure, meaning it's made out of plastic. But I'm really impressed with the job that Mega House did right here. Compared to the other Wano figures that I unboxed, this one is up there. I want to give you guys a closer look at this facial sculpt right here and then compare him to the other figures that I have. So I want to give you guys a closer look at this facial sculpt right here. And I just love the details from the red color around his eyes to his eyebrows. Even his teeth look nice, the tongue. So Mega House did a really good job on this one with his hair. You see the green fadish coloring towards the edge of it. I really like that. And it's funny that this character has a flat top at the top of his hair. And then behind it, he has a little ponytail right there. So interesting of a character design. One Piece has some interesting characters in it, but look at the details on the ponytail behind them. That looks beautiful. I just love that blue shading right there towards the end of it. So really love the details on his facial scope, but my favorite part, look at that Wano outfit right there. The orange coloring, the shininess, the wrinkles right there, the wrinkles in the belt. That just looks phenomenal. You see the muscle definition on his chest. Odin doesn't play now. If we take a look at his legs, I love the muscle definition in his legs. Also, you can see the hair on his calves and his lower legs right there, so I love it. See the sandals right there. Let's take a look at this base really quick. I love the blue coloring on this base right here with the gold Japanese kanji right there. Also, one thing about this figure is you can remove them from this base, so I didn't do it because Odin was on so tightly to the base, I didn't want to break it, but that is an option, guys. Let's take a look at the blade right here. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick look because I already went in depth with it, but that is a nice sword. And then we're gonna take a look at this one right here, the purple one. So the details look nice, and even what is arm, you can see the fingernails as he grips the blade right here. You see the forearm muscle right there. So I really love it. Let's check out behind Odin. What I really love is that they also included the hilt right here and that purple and white painting right there, just amazing on it. On the back of Odin, we see this blue and white ribbon behind him and the details from all the lines going throughout it, the shading on the whites. I love it. You can see from what he's standing on, it looks like he's standing on a Wano building right there. I thought that was a nice touch to it. They give you a clear stand. And these don't bother me, so I'm not even gonna put this as a con. But Odin, Odin looks badass. So I just wanted to give you guys a comparison of how he scares compared to Luffy, Zoro, Nami, and Law right there. So I think he scales pretty nicely. He should be way taller than these characters right here, but I still think he looks nice when they're all displayed together like this. I didn't get the Kaido Mega House figure. I should have, but even without him, I still think all these look great together. I want to know what you guys think about this setup right here. I love Mega House. I love what they're doing with their One Piece figures, especially in their Wano outfits. And this is just epic to me. All right, guys, that was my unboxing of Kazuki Odin by Mega House, their Portrait of Pirates Warriors Alliance line. And I want to know what you guys think about this figure right here. I love it, but I'm curious what you guys think. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.